shout out to sponsor the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fellow One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back, good fellow sports TV. Got a report coming in from Bleacher Report saying that Jimmy Butler aggressively, um, you know, approached Brett Brown, head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers, about his role offensively with the team. We back, good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget to check out our new sponsor, the Help Blaze, thehelpblaze.com. Use promo code goodfellow one boxing and get 18% off immediately on their all natural products for my health nuts, my physical fitness people. Try their natural products from soaps, bath bombs, lotions, hair pomade, muscle relaxer rubs to ease those muscles after leg day. All natural products go to the healthblaze.com. The website and promo code is in the description. And apparently, Jimmy Butler is the king of burning bridges, bro. I mean, relationships, friendships, co worker, however you want to say it. Um, you know, Jimmy Butler just burning all bridges, bro. You need a burn, you need a bridge burned down. Jimmy Butler got you, bro. Burning bridges. Jimmy Butler's industries, <laughs> and industries. Excuse me. But well, it says two months after acquiring the Philadelphia 76er, uh, Sixers, Jimmy Butler is uh, reportedly unhappy with the role in Brett Brown's offensive system. Per ESPN, uh, Butler aggressively challenged the Sixers head coach about his role in the office, leading to a bigger question about the long-term marriage between the All-Star and the organizations. While sources close to Butler contend, uh, contends that his intense, direct style can, some, can come off as combative as he's trying to make clear his viewpoints. Butler's sluggish, uh, you know, star in a Sixers environment is causing concern. Yada D, yada da. Okay, I'll link that article in the description. Okay, um, but uh, we're you know when Joel and Beeb did it, they just you know pretty much passed it through. Okay, when you know Ben Simmons came back without a jump shot, we're chasing a Jenner girl after she cheated on him twice and kissed another guy and told her, told him it was just a friend. They ain't gonna make a big story about that, all right? But um, you know Jimmy Butler got a track record. He was aggressive in, in Chicago. He was aggressive in Minnesota. He aggressive here, and I think, like people said, this was a bad mix, man. I got to give it to some of the Chris Broussards of the world and some of the dudes in the media saying that it was reports that uh, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons were real lazy, and I think Jimmy Butler sees that. Um, Jimmy Butler is going to be second. He's going to be third fiddle to Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, for the simple fact that Joel Embiid was more important in the, to the 76ers than Jimmy Butler, and to say Ben Simmons is the ball handler over there. He the point forward over there. So he always gonna have a ball in his hand. So I don't know what adjustments he want Brett Brown to make. Um, but I don't I don't even know where Brett Brown came from. And maybe so many coaches in the NBA, Phoenix, I don't know where they got that guy from. The guy coach in Sacramento is guy awful. I don't know where they got that guy from. A lot of these dudes, I don't know where they got him. Mike D'Antoni, if he was a brother or he was the other, he wouldn't even got this many chances coaching, man. So a lot of these dudes, man, like Alvin Gentry too. Like, he was sorry in Detroit, like, in the, what, the late 90s, early 2000s. He was sorry in the mug with the Pistons, bro. I don't know how he got another shot. Steve Kerr is proving that he can't coach for real. He can't make the adjustments or be the Zen master like Phil Jackson. So, I don't know where they get half these dudes from. The majority of the ball players in the NBA are black, but the majority of the coaches are white. I, st- I never understood that in football nor basketball. But, you know, Jimmy Butler... You know, it's saying put some respect on my name. And I need a better role. And I, I'm not saying I watch every 76 game, but I just don't think Brett Brown is capable of making that adjustment, bro. I, I don't really trust in a lot of these boxing, uh, I mean, these basketball aficionados and coaches, you know, knowledge of the game. And you challenging, you challenging Brett Brown, and he don't even know what to do with you. He don't know what Jimmy Butler probably do well enough in this offense. He ain't going to set Jimmy Butler off no screens and, you know, catch and shoot like he do J.J. Redick. Or he ain't going to get creative and put Jimmy Butler and Ben Simmons in the pick and roll, pick and pop situation. Or he ain't going to get uh, creative and put down screens for Jimmy Butler and let him catch and shoot him. He ain't going to clear out the side and put Jimmy Butler and uh, Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons in a two-man game. He don't get creative like that. He's stuck in his ways, man. And Joel Embiid had to check him. So I understand people gravitating the negativity towards Jimmy Butler because he got a track record of being aggressive. How about put some fucking onus on, on that coach, man? Because it don't seem like he can make the proper adjustments. It don't seem like he the coach that's going to take them to the next level. Okay? He not featuring Joel Embiid on a block, a block enough. He not creative enough to put Joel Embiid 
um, in a high low situation with Ben Simmons or Jimmy Butler. He not he not doing enough. He don't have no creativity in his offense. And a lot of these offenses in the NBA, I don't see the creativity like when the old Bobby Knight offense is back in the in his eighties and stuff with his Indiana offense. You know, you don't see you don't see the uh you know the different offenses with like the uh um the princess style offenses of the ball moving up. You don't see those principles in the NBA no more. And then again, you don't see a lot of innovative principles in the NBA that's going to replace those staples that have been in the NBA or been in basketball shit since it's damn near started. You know, none of these dudes are coming up with innovative offenses like with Sean McVay coming up with it with the Los Angeles Rams. You don't see that in the NBA. You see Brad Stevenson is is basically on on it's all about ball movement. That's as close as you're going to see it. Ain't nobody coming in here with the triangle or none of that stuff of that nature. These coaches, you know, it's pretty much reminds me of boxing coaches that the game uh, is to be sold and not told. And ain't nobody selling or telling the game to the coaches of this generation. You know what I'm saying? Just as people could talk about the overall talent level in the NBA had dipped and I think it's starting to rise. I can tell you that the coaching talent level sucks, man. I don't think Britt Brown is capable of, of, uh, of acclimating Jimmy Butler and getting the best out of Butler, J.J. Reddick, Joel Embiid, and Ben Simmons and the rest of them dudes. He's not capable of that. He ain't going to take the Philadelphia steps, the 76ers, to the next step. But, you know, this is maybe Jimmy Butler going to be one and done there. So, Elton Brand, he took a shot. And you can see the the power to each shift. You can see Kawhi Leonard go to the Clippers. You can see Jimmy Butler go to the Knicks with, with KD or go to Brooklyn. You can see the power shift. You know, just in the East, but two people taking a flyer and taking a chance on two guys that can be one and done with them and Jimmy Butler and, Tor- and, and I'm from Toronto with Kawhi Leonard. But it's good for the sports TV. Don't forget me on Facebook, Twitter. You can reach out in the email. Also, we got a Facebook group. Uh, you want to make a donation, that link's there as well, too. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And don't forget about our brand new spanking new sponsor, The Health Blaze at TheHealthBlaze.com. Use the promo code goodfellow one boxing both in the description. Get your all-natural products for 18% off. And check them out. Toothpaste, foot soaks, bath bombs, soaps, lotions, all all natural. Check them out. Website and promo code in the description. Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.